I put together an Excel spreadsheet for you to show how to use the spreadsheet for counting diagrams. In our case here I have some inputs up at the top for our parking structure, level 1 in, level 1 out, level 2 in, level 2 out, and on the outputs I've got my level 1 counter to keep track of how many cars are in level 1, level 2 counter again to keep track how many cars are in there but level 2. And then I have my indicators level 1 full, level 2 full, level 1 empty, level 2 empty. For this count I'm going to have level 1 will fill will full at 10 cars and level 2 will be full at 5 cars. At the top every time a car comes in you'll have a transition from true to false and it happens so quick all we need to do is draw it as a little spike here showing the car in and out. Now what I went ahead and did is use the spreadsheet capabilities so showing each time I had a transition I brought a car in another transition brought a car in I put a count there I will use these counts down below here to create my counter values so that I don't have to sit here and count up each individual transition and each one going in and out. I made an Excel spreadsheet keep, to uh, keep track of all my counts for me. I'm going to come over here and take a look at this cell right here and look at the formula for it. Click over here and we can see that this cell is equal to the previous cell plus any count of a car coming in minus a car going out of level 1 minus a car leaving level 1 and going to level 2 plus any car leaving level 2 and coming into level 1. So that's a little formula I wrote there for keeping my running count. Now if I look over here my counter value for level 2. Level 2 is a bit simpler. It takes the previous count, adds in any car coming in, and subtracts any car going out. Okay. Now, since level 1 being full happens at 10, we read along here and we do not have anything approaching 10 until we get to the end. And you see that it went full at 10 added another car so now it's over full but still it's considered full. Now level 2 is full at 5. We'll come along here where our 5's there's 5 that's corresponding level full signal. Here's some more 5's. Okay there's some more 5's right there so it's full there. And there's another 5 there so the level's full at that spot there. Everywhere else it's other than 5, so it, the uh, level 2 indicator is not on. Level 1 empty, there's our zeros there for level 1, and you can see the empty indicator is high during those times. It's off the rest of the time. Level 2 is empty here, which corresponds to this being high for that same time. And it's also empty up on this end over here. And you can see those indicators there. So that's it. That's a pretty simple counting diagram. You can expand this and change this however you need. I did the formula. Helped me keep track of cars coming in and cars coming out. So I didn't have to do that manually. A lot of times up here in this area, you won't see these values in there but I kind of like doing that to help me keep track of my counter values down here. That's it.